Mr. Clinton will take a break from his global philanthropic work when he takes the stage in Charlotte tonight. In a speaking slot normally reserved for the vice president, Mr. Clinton will formally nominate President Obama as the Democratic candidate. The moment will highlight just how far Mr. Clinton has come to restore his relationship with the Democratic Party after Mr. Obama defeated his wife in a contentious 2008 primary. On a recent six-day African tour, Mr. Clinton and his daughter Chelsea showcased the work of the Clinton Foundation, the huge charitable organization he started in 2001. His own presidency was a steady theme during the trip, but it wasn't all nostalgic. From the Rwandan genocide and AIDS epidemic to famine and war in Somalia, the bombing of a U.S. embassy in Nairobi, and related missile strikes in Sudan, the continent stands out as a source of conflict and regret for Mr. Clinton. Although his foundation operates in 50 countries around the world, his desire to finish some of the work of his presidency is most evident in Africa. While traveling, Mr. Clinton frequently invokes his own term in office, peppering speeches with phrases like, in the 1990s, and when I was president. Yet he says that one of his main foreign policy failings was not stopping the 1994 slaughter of 800,000 mostly Tutsi Rwandans. A good deal of what Mr. Clinton does at his foundation is act as a power broker between wealthy donors and worthy causes. The Africa trip included longtime friends and deep-pocketed donors, some of whom have supported the Clintons since their Little Rock years. While his relationship with certain billionaires has drawn criticism, a big part of Mr. Clinton's political gift was his seemingly effortless ability to shift between opulence and poverty. That personal touch helped him bring white working class and rural voters back to the Democratic Party in the 1992 presidential election. And it's that connection that many pundits say Mr. Obama lacks. Mr. Clinton's speech tonight will serve in part as a plea to the elusive swing voters who supported Mr. Clinton and his wife Hillary Clinton's presidential bid, but who have proven a challenging audience for Mr. Obama. That's a shift from 2008 when Mr. Obama presented himself as a break with Clinton-era politics. But even as Mr. Clinton reinforces his legacy in domestic politics this week... That's what happened when I was president. When it is the foundation that consumes most of his time. Chelsea has joined three of the boards, and Secretary Clinton could have a role in the foundation after Mr. Obama's first term, making the foundation a family affair and an even more powerful tool to burnish the Clinton brand globally. For The New York Times, I'm Amy Chozik.